Beautiful city. I love living in Kyoto. I always pick up. Here is my, it's not the prettiest, <laughs> but here's my Flying Dutchman burger. Uh, it's got a onion bun and it's Wagyu beef from Japan. And I made candied sweet potato fries yesterday. So I'm having them with, these are so good, you guys. I tear that, those sweet potato fries up. So I'm having them with some candied sweet potato fries, and this is my Flying Dutchman burger. Yum! It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Are moms not amazing? I mean, honestly, I think moms are some of the most amazing people in the world, and dads, aren't dads amazing? And I'll tell you something else that's amazing, grandmothers. God is amazing. And you know what? You and I can appreciate it. I have one thing to say. My future husband, my boyfriend, is a very lucky man. Because I tear down, I, I get to down in the kitchen. I can still taste it. Uh, I've got like 15 boxes to send today. Um... So I'm about to head there. But look at these adorable chocolates. Can you even? Um, I bought a bunch of these to go in my snack boxes. My Kyoto snack box available on my website. If you want me to ship you a box full of Japanese snacks. Uh, I fill a box up with snacks and everyone just tells me how much they love the box, you guys. Every single person is just like, it's so exciting opening the box. Because every box is a little bit different, you know. Um, and seeing what's in there. And I put beauty stuff in there. I put snacks. 
I just, I hooked those boxes up, you guys, and I think you should buy one. I think it would make a great gift for somebody, or if you have kids, oh, your kids are going to die um, of happiness, because I put a really, a lot of really fun stuff in there, or your co-workers, or whatever. Highly recommend my Kyoto snack box, but I bought a bunch of these yesterday, and I wanted to try them myself. How cute is the box? Yes. Can you even? So I'm going to try... Cause you know I have to do quality control. <laughs> I haven't tried these before. I'm gonna try this one. It is yuzu flavored. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. White chocolate is my favorite. Oh, that was. Mm. That tastes like raspberry and white chocolate. Mm. <gasps> so good. I'm gonna really shut this. <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about five places you should and you should not go this year. Bad, I always drink lemon water. I stop eating food all the time around 4.30 p.m. and the rest of the day I just drink lemon water. Anyways, so delicious. Hold on, one more. <laughs> I've been using this for 60 days, although I've been using it for over a year, but I ran out. So I've been using it constantly for 60 days. Actually more like 70 days. Um, shark liver oil. I told you guys I went on a healthy hair journey. I stopped using heat in my hair and I take supplements every day. Although, I've always taken supplements, but these are some of my favorites. They are big here in Japan. Shark liver oil, and they're now available on my website. If you don't know what shark liver oil, it's basically like fish oil. No, it's more like cod liver oil. It's packed with DHA, which is something all of our bodies need because we don't naturally produce DHA. Um, but this is 99% squalene because sharks is where squalene comes from. If you don't know what squalene is, it's a very precious kind of oil. It's in a lot of skincare products, but the reason most people take this, it's good for heart health, it's good for joints, but the most reason people take this is because it gives you glass skin. Ugh, it gives you glass, beautiful glass skin. So this is one of the number one um supplements in japan most japanese people take shark liver oil it's like japan's version of fish oil although i take fish oil from japan it's more like japanese cod liver oil they take shark liver oil like i said before it's 99 percent squalene um and it just gives you glass skin it make your skin beautiful and your hair's no texture and my skin doesn't have texture um, so yeah, they're good. And but besides the beauty reasons, it's good. It's like heart health. Look it up. Shark liver oil. Heart health. Joint health. Immune. Immune. It's it's huge on immunity too. I don't want to get sick. Today is the last day you can get my Valentine's Day box available on my website because if you don't get it today, I can't ensure. That I will get it to you before Valentine's Day. If you get it today, I can ensure you will get it before Valentine's Day. So it will go uh, out of stock after today. Today's the last day. If you want to send your loved one or your mom or your aunt or your cousin 
or your sister or your girlfriend or your wife the best valentine's day gift you need my valentine's day box my japanese valentine's day box i fill it with japanese beauty products and i fill it with the most beautiful chocolates and snacks and it's very classy and any woman any age would love that box by the way inside of my beauty box i put the shark liver oil so if you get my japan my kyoto it's called my kyoto beauty box the shark liver oil comes inside of this so um i i just pack a box full of japanese beauty I, every box gets a vanity box these are big in japan they're called vanity boxes and basically it's just a really high quality box you can put whatever you want in here lashes hairpins scrunchies it's just a box to sit on your vanity or in your bathroom gorgeous incredibly high quality box these are big in japan um and you can fit you can put whatever in here you want eyeliners just to keep it all in one spot so it looks pretty sitting on your vanity so this goes is inside of my beauty box i put some of the best face masks in japan these are two amazing sheet masks one is tea tree one is sakura which is cherry blossom inside of the beauty box and i also put uh the same brand collagen lip mask i fill it with face masks i also put the vaseline face masks in there these are so good these are so good um i put just a ton of japanese all the number not all but a ton of number one japanese beauty products hair oils i put in there uh, this is a lip tint a really really pretty pink lip tint um yeah i just i have the heat protectant capsules the beauty soap goes in there this is one of the most popular soaps in all of japan um it's made from japanese cow milk and it's really it's meant to use meant to be used on your face and it gives you it clears your skin it gives you gorgeous soft supple brightened skin beauty soap so yeah it's just full of japanese beauty japanese beauty box and now available on my website japan is definitely top in the world uh for beauty products so um it's like my Kyoto snack box but instead it's all beauty products so that's now available on my website and this the shark liver oil goes in the box if you wanted to get that it might be a better idea for you to get the beauty box you hey guys five places you should and should not travel this year don't waste your time go on to these places number one you you knew it was coming say it say it you guys if you know me at all egypt <laughs> if you know me at all you know how much i don't like egypt i hate egypt I've been there seven times, seven times, yeah, eight times. I've been, to, I've been to Egypt eight times. Well, why have you been eight times if you hate it? Because it's good for um, my job, which is a travel blogger. I mean, the content does well, but I hate, I don't think there's a place on earth I hate more than Egypt, besides like New York City or something. No, I like New York City. Ooh, that's a big statement. I like New York City more than I like Egypt. I do, I do. Egypt City is a vibe sometimes, especially during Christmas time. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know if I hate a place more than Egypt. I can't stand it. Ugh, so don't go there, don't waste your time. Now, if you're like, but I wanna see the historical stuff, fine, go see the historical stuff, then leave. Um, Anyways, if you want to know why, I have so many videos on this channel <laughs> talking about why I don't like Egypt. So many. Um, the people are rude, haggling everywhere on the streets. There's no peace, no respect for women. I go there by myself. I get no respect. Um, if they hear you're American, you have not one piece of peace. You don't have one second of peace. Um, it's just... A nightmare I can't stand Egypt instead you should go to Afghanistan and I'm not even joking about that I think Afghanistan is one of the best countries in the world I love it it's my favorite country 
Japan is my favorite country. My second favorite country is Afghanistan. And I will be back in Afghanistan in about four weeks because I'm building a school there. And I love Afghanistan. They're my family. Those are literally my my families in Afghanistan. Like they're those men and the women I've met there, they we, we keep in touch. We text every day. They're my family. There they we, we keep in touch. We text every day. They're my family. So even Taliban members. They're not terrorists, okay? They're normal, regular people, like you and I. Um, and they're lied on a lot. They, they they don't have a leg to stand on. They can't defend themselves because nobody respects them. It doesn't matter what they say. They, so anyways, Afghanistan, I think you should go to Afghanistan and said, I have a guide. If you really want to go to Afghanistan, if you really want to go to Afghanistan, you can get my guide. I tell you exactly how to get there. I give you the phone number of the guy who organizes my Afghanistan trips, who will set you up with a local guide because you have to have a local guide in Afghanistan. You have to have somebody locally authorized to show you around. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to do that by yourself, um, especially because nobody knows English. So you need a local guide. Um, and yeah, I tell you where to get your visa. I tell you how much everything is. And if you really want to go, I have a guide, Afghanistan guide. It's on my website. And I put everything in that guide, all information. It's beautiful. It's not ruined by tourists, similar to Egypt. There's places I go, they don't feel real anymore. Egypt is one of them. It's like, I feel like I'm in Disney World. Like, this isn't a real place anymore. Everything is turned into a tourist trap. Everything. It's not a real place anymore. It's like you're in a museum. The whole country is like a big, organized museum. <laughs> Anyways, um, Afghanistan's not like that. You're in real life in Afghanistan. And it's not dangerous. Listen, Afghanistan has become one of the most safest places on the planet. And that's factual. The United States is way more dangerous than Afghanistan. And there's something people ask me all the time. What's one thing you've learned from... I've been to 127 countries traveling for eight years without stopping. What's something you learned? Here's what I learned. The world is upside down. Left is right. Right is left. Dangerous is not. Good is bad. Bad is good. Up is down. Down is up. Afghanistan is dangerous. The U.S. is not. What? <laughs> the U.S. is far more dangerous. F like, by, by far way more dangerous than Afghanistan. The amount of killings there is in one day in one small city in, Af in, in the U.S. is insane. There are no killings in Afghanistan. None. None. The Taliban does not play that. And the Taliban doesn't, they don't go around killing people. They don't. In 2024 is Bali. Bali is another place that's been completely ruined. I already knew it was going to happen. It is now invaded with, uh, no offense, Australian people took over Bali. I'm so sorry to Australian people. No offense. But they took over Bali. It's not even authentic indonesian culture anymore it's like australian culture um the australians took that poor little city over the australians own everything all the bars all the cafes all the hotels they're all owned by australian white people love you white people my my boyfriend who we're about to get married he's white so i don't have anything against white people even though that's like the cringe way of explaining you're not racist right <laughs> so much property and land they own every cafe they own every restaurant um they've completely taken over it They're, everyone's drunk all night the, the australian people they get so ridiculously drunk they throw their beer bottles all over the streets it's just like indonesia is not even that culture is gone from bali it's just this big tourist australian island owned by the australians and I don't feel like I'm in Indonesia anymore. The culture's gone. It's like a Disney theme park now. Like it's all very organized for tourists and the culture's gone and it's just so packed. Everything is so packed. All the good cafes, you're gonna have to wait in line outside because everything's so Instagrammed and YouTubed so and it's a tiny island. It can only hold so many people, you know? And like I said, the Australians, it just took over. There, so it's just uh, every 
even all the excursions that you might want to go see it's just like you might spend 90 percent of your trip in a car stuck in traffic honestly the whole trip you're there the whole time you're there has over 7,000 islands pick another island go to the Gili islands or go to jakarta don't go to bali um but also if you're into nature i highly suggest switzerland but you need a budget for switzerland switzerland is actually one of my it might be my third favorite country it's so beautiful but it is extremely expensive like really expensive but oh my gosh switzerland <laughs> it's so beautiful i was just there this summer last summer i was there for two months Woo! expensive but whoa so beautiful so so beautiful and everyone's so nice i love swiss people they're really really nice also if you love nature you might entertain going to iceland iceland is gorgeous is it expensive yes so sorry about that um yeah it's expensive but it's still very beautiful and i think it's worth it um but don't go when there's 24 hours of of darkness go when there's 24 hours. go in the summertime or go now anyways another place you shouldn't travel to is tokyo tokyo's been ruined i have a video coming actually next saturday about how tokyo's ruined i'm going back to tokyo next saturday i hate it it's been ruined it's like new york city and i've talked to so many japanese people living here in japan and they agree with me. It's funny because I thought I was alone on this opinion. And every Japanese person I speak to, they agree with me. They're like, we hate it. The trains are so packed. Everything's so packed. All the restaurants are so packed with tourists. And it's so dirty because of the tourists. It's filthy. I never used to see rats running around. I saw so many rats the last time I was in Tokyo. I literally just froze and was like, I'm getting out of here. Got a one-way ticket to Kyoto because I was gonna originally move to Tokyo. I was gonna get an apartment there and I quickly changed and moved here to Kyoto. Best decision in my life. I love Kyoto. But everyone who comes to Japan goes to Tokyo and I'm like, keep going there. <laughs> stay out of Kyoto so it'll stay authentic as long as possible. Um, another place I think is like not that great is South Korea. Sorry, I don't like South Korea. I don't. I don't like it. I'll get into why though. And I might go there just to do a video about why I don't like it. Is that rude? But I have a whole video about why, so I'm not going to get into why. Now, if you're going to go to one place, I highly suggest Japan. Okay. Boom. Another place you should not travel. I think that's enough, right? Don't go to Dubai, please. Please. Now, I'm just saying that because I live there. <laughs> And I don't like all the tourists to get on my nerves. Is that rude? It's like my job, right? To promote travel. I don't know. Is it my job to promote travel or am I just showing my travels? Or am I promoting? I don't know. But don't go to Dubai. Don't. Too many people are in Dubai. Hey guys, and I'll see you in my next video. When will I leave Japan? About two weeks. Two and a half weeks. And then I'll be heading to my 120 seventh country yeah my 127th country everything's booked everything's ready to go and it's a new country and i'm very excited to start knocking down these countries huh? so i'll see you guys in my next one bye